Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a transmission service on the C230. Uh, C230 is currently parked outside right now. Um, I'm gonna pull it into the garage real quick. There are a few, uh, just the last bits of uh, maintenance I wanna do to the car before we should be squared off. Um, so we got the transmission fluid change. Uh, I do wanna change out the serpentine belt, the two pulleys and the tensioner and that should pretty much be it. Today we're just gonna be doing the transmission service and uh, it should be a really simple, easy job. This is the uh, seven speed automatic transmission, by the way, the CLK has the uh, five speed. So um, if you guys haven't seen that, I have a video on how to do the five speed, but the tools you would need for this job would be um, transmission fluid. I've got, you're probably gonna use about five liters, um, if not maybe six. Um, you're gonna need a six hex for the drain plug and an E10 for the uh, bolts holding on the pan to the transmission. And obviously we've got our transmission, uh, what's it called? Filter, uh, gasket, and this is just a push Rather than using a uh, pressurized PSI to pump the fluid into the uh, pan, I'm just gonna be using this, stick it in here, and just push right there. I forgot to mention, you're gonna need a screw uh, for the transmission. If you don't have that, you can find that on Amazon or FCP Europe. Those are all the tools you're gonna be needing. I'm gonna pull the car in real quick and uh, we can start. I do you need a uh, eight millimeter socket for it let's go ahead and start draining some transmission fluid should be fun hopefully I don't get too dirty <laughs> That's not all the uh, transmission fluid. Uh, you're gonna use some sort of screwdriver or tool to pry the, um, I forgot what it's called. I'll show you guys after I get it out. Uh, that's gonna let the remaining uh, transmission fluid drain out. This fluid looks really, really good.
All right, you see this guy right here? This is what I was trying to get off, but I couldn't get it off. And these are the magnets right here. Ooh. It's pretty good, no metal shavings at all. Hey guys, my GoPro died. I hope I caught a lot of me cleaning the pan, uh, but everything is put together right now. It's looking pretty clean. I've got the two magnets back in there. Uh, this guy, I've got the uh, gasket on here. Uh, the gasket you just have to put on, it's pretty easy. You just uh, put the filter on first and then put the pan on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, I think I've put enough in there. So next up is to start the car and get it to 45 degrees Celsius. That's operating temperature. And once we do that, I'm gonna unplug the uh, drain plug. And if it doesn't spit anything out, we're gonna put back this and pump more transmission fluid, about a quart. And uh, we're gonna unplug it again and if it spits transmission fluid out, then it didn't need the extra. Um, once you start seeing it kind of stop running out or dripping out of the uh, drain plug, then that's when you can go ahead and close your uh, drain plug and you should be good to go. All right, so this is a live reading and you wanna see that go to 45 degrees Celsius. This might take up to about 10 minutes for the car to warm up. We are at 42 degrees Celsius and guess how long it's been? 27 minutes, jeez. All right, but we're almost there. So once we hit 45, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unplug the drain. shifts like butter oh 
yeah, this feels really good. This, I'm gonna say it's added probably about, you know, 10 to 15 horsepower. So, hey, this is a plus if you need, you know, the extra 10 horsepower. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, the car is shifting pretty good, driving pretty good. I'm currently in the neighborhood. I'm gonna get on the, uh, the main road. Anyways, um, when I drained out the fluid, it actually looked pretty good. Um, so, maybe the fluid was done recently. The car is driving great. So if you need to do your uh, transmission service on your seven speed automatic, you guys, I have a five speed on my channel. So this is the first seven speed automatic and it's pretty self-explanatory. If you really wanna get a well in-depth video, check out FCP Euro. Um, they've got a really good video on it and other channels as well. Also, I forgot to mention, but you can go ahead and reset the transmission to factory settings. And so basically it adapts to how you drive again. So it's a pretty neat, um, cool thing you could do on the uh, these transmissions. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.